Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about the difference between memory keyword and call data keyword in data locations. So as we have seen that reference data type comes with these data locations that is memory storage and call data. And in this video, we are going to see the difference between memory keyword and call data keyword. And in the upcoming videos, we will see the difference between memory keyword and storage keyword. So for now, if you will see memory keyword, their lifetime is limited to an external function call. So they are limited to a function only call data. It is also a special data location that contains the function arguments. So let me tell you one thing very clearly here that both like all of these things that you are seeing here, right? All of these things are memory areas only means these are areas where we are actually storing our variables. Why I'm telling you this because it confuses a lot of students that what is this memory storage and call data at the end of the day at the end of the day they are just they are just memory areas or storage areas where you are actually storing your variables and since we are talking in reference to reference data type so they are actually storing the variables of reference data type like arrays your structs your mappings and your string okay so now let us see the difference between this memory keyword and call data keyword now, as you can see on your screen, we have this array, right, of five elements. And let's say I want to insert some elements inside this array. Now, in order to do that, first of all, I need to create one more function. And let's say I want to insert an entire array to this array. Means I want to pass an array. Let's say insert array, ARR, let's say. And I want to pass an argument, an array argument inside this function. Now, how can I do that? Let me tell you that. But before that, let me make this public. And let's say we have this ARR here and I want to assign. I want to assign an array which is passed as an argument to this insert ARR function. So how can I do that? Now, in order to do that, first of all, we need to write UINT. OK, and since this array is of size five, let's say I want to insert five elements. I want to assign five elements inside this. So what I can do is I can simply write five first of all okay and then i can write the name of the variable with the help of which i'm going to assign some element inside this array so arr like this so if you will see i am passing an array right i am passing an array inside this function means as an argument to this function and then i'm assigning this arr value to this array okay but if you will see now it is showing us one error and the error is that data location must be memory or call data for a parameter in function. So again, since we are using, since we are actually declaring, or I will say passing an array inside this function. So we need to tell this function that this ARR, because this ARR is a reference data type, which is referencing storage area by default. So we need to tell that, okay, function, uh, this ARR is actually an array. And we want to use this array inside this function so I'm using this memory keyword. Okay. So again, you have to use this memory keyword. Okay. Again, you have to use this memory keyword so that you can use this ARR array inside this function because you are passing an array inside this function, right? So you have to use this memory keyword. If this was not a reference data type, then you can directly pass uh, the variable. Let's say if this uh, ARR was simply a UINT data type variable, then you do not require this memory keyword. But for reference data type, you need to have this memory keyword. So remember, whenever you are using any kind of reference data type inside a function and you are passing that reference data type inside that function, you need to use this memory keyword. Just like when we were returning a reference data type, right? This array, uh, if you remember from the fixed size array and the dynamic size array, when we were returning those arrays, we were actually using memory keyword there as well. In the same way, you have to use this memory keyword whenever you are passing a reference data type inside a function. So now let us check this as well. Let me deploy this. So now you will see we have this insert ARR. Currently, all the elements are zero, right? Because this is a UNT type data type, zero. Now let's say I want to pass an entire array element inside this. So I will simply do, okay, let me uh, simply write here in these square brackets one two three four and five because this array is of five elements right and i will click on insert 
Now, as soon as I have clicked on insert, you can see that this transaction is successful. Now, if I will check the ARR values, so you can clearly see that at array index one, we have two. At array index three, we have four, right? At array index zero, we have one. So this is how you can use this memory keyword in order to pass an array inside a function. But if I will remove this memory keyword, you will see that we have two options. First one was that we can use data location, either memory or call data. Now, when do we use memory and when do we use call data? Let's say if I want to use call data here, then also this is fine. There is no error. We can use this call data keyword as well as like we can also use this call data keyword here as well. So now the question arises when we use this memory keyword and when we use this call data keyword. If we are using this call data keyword, right, with this ARR, with this reference data type. Now, in this case, you cannot make any changes to this ARR variable. Means when you are using this call data, this ARR is now immutable in nature. What do I mean by that? I simply mean that, let's say if you are passing this array and let's say you are thinking that at ARR index zero, I want to have, let's say 10. You are thinking something like this. So you can clearly see that it is not possible. It is showing that call data arrays are read only means you cannot change any value inside this ARR variable. While on the other hand, if I will use memory keyword, you can clearly see now there is no error because if you are using memory keyword, you are telling the solidity compiler that, okay, I want to make changes to this ARR. So you can use this ARR. If you, okay, if you, you can use this memory keyword, if you want to make some changes to this ARR, array if you are, do not want also you can still use it there is no problem but if you are thinking in future i am going to make some changes to this arr variable then definitely you should use memory keyword otherwise you should use call data so that you can tell the solidity compiler see i am not going to make any changes to this arr so i am going to use this call data now another difference between memory keyword and call data is that you can use call data only at function arguments means you cannot use this call data keyword inside a function or while you are returning a reference data type variable. Like definitely it shows that you can use this call data while returning some reference data type, but you cannot. Call data can only be used inside function argument with reference data type. So if you will see the definition as well, that these are special data location that contains the function argument. While case of memory, you can use memory keyword wherever you want. So if you want to use memory keyword in the return type means if you want to have a return statement here like this and you are thinking I want to return this array. So like this uint uh, five. Okay. And then you are doing this kind of stuff, something like this. So let me remove this for now. Okay. Okay. Let's do one more thing uh, instead of making some changes to this why not we make a different function let's say return array now in this if you will see and let me remove this first of all so let's say i want to return this array so returns and in this first of all i will write uint then five because this is a fixed size array and after this i can only use memory keyword okay to return let's say any array okay any kind of array or any kind of reference data type like this and definitely you need to have view here so you cannot use call data here okay definitely the compiler will show that you can use it and there is no problem in it like definitely now it is showing an error right that it is not possible you cannot do this but if i will use memory keyword there is no problem and if you are not going to use anything it will give you an error that you should use call data but you cannot use call data as i said you can only use memory keyword here while call data you can only use in function argument Second thing that you need to remember that if you are using call data, you cannot make changes to the variable, to this variable, okay? Because now since you're using call data, it is immutable in nature. But at the end of the day, you have to remember that call data as well as memory are just data locations. They are nothing more. They are used only with reference to the reference data type, not with any other data type. Let's say if you are thinking with to use this with UINT or let's say with address data type, you cannot use it. You can only use them with reference data types. Memory and call data, 
these can be used this memory keyword can be used anywhere inside a function but this can only be used in function argument this is mutable in nature while this is immutable in nature so i hope you understand what are the differences between memory keyword and call data keyword so i will meet you in the next video if you have liked this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel because i am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel to meet you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye and do not forget if you have any doubts please comment below okay